But ignoring this is probably the biggest mistake you can do when filming yourself. I filmed that video of myself with very simple techniques and static shots using just my tripod. The most important thing that probably kept you watching was the story. Having a compelling story is what will make or break your video even if all you have is a camera and a tripod. I like to divide the story into three different parts the beginning, the middle, and the ending. The beginning establishes the who, what, where, when, and so on. For the opening shot, I wanted a wide establishing shot of the character waking up, and then a medium shot of him brushing his teeth. This tells the audience that he's waking up in the morning in his apartment. I then moved on using a lot of close-up shots. Close-up shots are a great way to indicate that something important is happening, something that is significant to the development of the story. And here we're already entering the middle point of the story, which is when the conflicts arise. The character is experiencing some sort of a problem which he has to overcome. In this case, the character is facing small everyday problems like having to settle for tea instead of his usual morning coffee. I know, the struggle is real. And as the story moves on, the problems get worse and worse, which builds tension in the viewer's mind, making the viewer want to see what happens next. I wanted to keep the story about everyday issues for two reasons. It's very easy for people to relate to and it's simple to film these kind of stories by yourself at home. It's often a common belief that you should cut between a wide, medium and a close-up shot. But it's even more powerful when you can combine all three in one take. Like this shot, it starts as a wide shot with the character in the background in the toilet and as he gets closer to the camera, it turns into a close-up shot. Also, I deliberately set the manual focus on the key on the foreground on the table because I wanted to emphasize that the key is a crucial part of the story. The third part of the story is the ending where the climax happens. In this case, it's when the character realizes that he forgot the key inside the apartment and locked the door from outside. I want to thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful then I highly recommend that you watch this video over here because I think you're gonna find it helpful as well. Alright, thanks and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.